At the very outset, let me tell you, I have designed this lesson in such a way that it can be used by all the students including those who are going to face all competitive examinations, especially UGC NET. At the end of this lesson, you shall find multiple choice type questions also. After listening to this lesson, you shall attempt on them. Production function. Production function means transforming inputs into output. This itself will tell you output is not possible without inputs. By changing the quantity of inputs, a producer can get the desired level of output. In doing so, a prudent producer always tries to combine the inputs in such a way that he gets the maximum output. From this, it becomes quite obvious there is a relation between inputs and output. Let us divide the whole lesson into three parts to understand it better. Part 1. What is production function? Part 2. Choice of technology. Part 3. Types of production function. We shall start with what is production function. Functional relation between inputs and output is called production function. It helps the producer to choose the best production technique. It can be symbolically represented as Q is a function of L K, where Q represents output, L labor and K capital. A producer can combine different quantities of labor and capital and get different levels of output. One speciality about this function is this. It is different from all other functions in economics in the sense the relation between inputs and output is to be viewed along with technique of production or method of production or technology. To put it in simple terms, a producer has to perform two things in using production function. One, he has to arrive at the optimum combination of inputs. Two, he must choose the best technology that suits him. We shall see how a producer accomplishes these two tasks. While arriving at the optimum combination, he chooses the best technology by following one rule. It goes like this. If one method uses minimum quantity of at least one input and no more from other inputs when compared with other methods, it is technically more efficient than all other methods. The same rule can be viewed in another way also. If one method can bring out more output with given inputs than all other methods, it is technically more efficient than all other methods. We shall analyze the first view and try to understand how a producer applies this rule. Let us assume a producer uses two factors, namely labor and capital to produce a good. Again let us assume there are two methods of production, say A and B. Under method A, a producer uses two units of labor and three units of capital to produce one unit of output. Under method B, the same producer uses three units of labor and three units of capital to produce the same one unit of output. Of these two methods, method A is technically more efficient than method B because method A uses one unit of labor less and the same units of capital. 
producer's choice is method A. Thus, a producer can choose the best technology. We know the best technique of production can be arrived from another way also. We shall see how. Again, assume two inputs, say labor and capital, and two methods of production, say A and B. Method A uses two units of labor and three units of capital to bring an output of 10 units. Method B also uses two units of labor and three units of capital to bring an output of 8 units. In this case, the combination of input doesn't change, but they bring out two different levels of output. It purely depends on technology used. Of these two methods, method A is technically more efficient than method B because method A produces more with the same quantities of inputs. In this case, producer's choice is method A. This way also, a producer can choose the best technology. Thus, production function brings out the relation between input and output by taking into account the technology. It is time to know about two types of production function. One, short run production function. Two, long run production function. Short run production function shall be algebraically represented as Q is a function of LK, where Q represents output L labor K capital and over bar says that capital is constant in the short run. Law of variable proportion describes this function. Long run production function shall be algebraically represented as Q is a function of LK where Q represents output L labor K capital and the absence of over bar says that all inputs are variable in the long run. Law of returns to scale describes this function. Our discussion ends here. Multiple choice type questions. Production function is 1. Relation among inputs and output. 2. Functional relation between inputs and output. 3. Concerned with output behavior. 4 about studying factors of production. The correct answer is 2. Examine the following production functions and point out which one is technically more efficient. 1. 3 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 10 units of output. 2. 3 units of labor plus 7 units of capital yield 10 units of output. 3. 2 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 10 units of output. 4. 2 units of labor plus 6 units of capital yield 10 units of output. The correct answer is 3. Of the four methods of production, which one is more efficient? 1. Method A. 2 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 10 units of output. 2. Method B. 2 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 9 units of output. 3. Method C. 2 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 12 units of output. 4. Method D. 2 units of labor plus 5 units of capital yield 15 units of output. The correct answer is 4. Okay, we shall meet in the next video lesson.